The start of the Atlantic hurricane season is just about nine days away, and officials are again advocating preparedness. Predictions are for 13 named storms to be formed, of which six will become hurricanes. On this morning's To The Point program, former Acting Disaster Coordinator Sylvan McIntyre reiterated the call for safety and preparedness. Speaking against the backdrop of the heavy downpours experienced over the past three days, McIntyre zeroed in on road safety under adverse conditions and how motorists and pedestrians alike should treat with it. Look at our own neck of the woods, what happens here. We do not have um, fog per se in this part of the territory, but we do have mist. Mm -hmm. And at times we have very dense misty uh, mist that, that, that comes through. And um, with that, there is a particular way that one can drive um, to ensure that you have some level of safety. One, when there is a misty condition, obviously your speed limit should be should be lower should be reduced because your your mm -hmm. should be reduced. Your visibility becomes less. There are times your level of visibility may be four to ten feet that you are able to see based on the density of the mist that would be there. What that says is that it is okay at times to put on what people call your fog lights. Mm -hmm. When one drive at night and there is a misty condition, drivers who may have the experience, you can check it yourself that having your light on bright sometimes doesn't help you very much. If you have your light on dim, it, it, it shortens the span in which your visibility would be, but it gives you a safer and a closer indication as to where you are within that, that, that zone. McIntyre underscored the need for regular vehicular checks to ensure they are in proper working condition. Paying yourself for dealing with various risk on the road whether it is created by a natural phenomena or not, it, is, it also hinges on that of the psychological readiness. Mm -hmm. Because technically, if you prepare a vehicle and you do your checks and balances, if you prepare yourself emotionally and otherwise to face the road, a lot of things really fall in line. Mm -hmm. McIntyre shared the view that the examination process and the requirements for obtaining a driver's license should be revisited, as well as an individual's capability to read and understand road signs and signals and accommodation for persons who are physically challenged. I think the exams that are being set, we use what the old highway code, it was a British highway code that mm -hmm. people use, and I'm not too sure if we have generated a real local code that suits all of the condition. You may say, yes, the highway code that is, is generated, it, it kind of fits into the international standard mm -hmm. that if you are able to, to master it, you should be able to drive a vehicle. And I remember one time Grenada was giving even licenses that were recognized internationally. Yes. But things have changed generally in how you handle certain signs and how you deal with that. So we are scrutinizing from the Asher McKinnell um, Road Safety Foundation how well the exam situation and the conditions mm. with signs and signal, how people adapt to it and how we facilitate those who have limitations in doing the exam in the traditional means, how will they and how are they coping? And we're also examining, as we mentioned in our earlier program, the statistics. Mm. How many of these persons are having or meeting in accidents or not necessarily meeting accidents, but sometimes you may not be in the accident yourself but you may create the accident by the way you drive, you drive or your inability to recognize certain risk or certain hazards while they travel on the road. Christina John, GBN News.